I find it amazing that such a small, nondescript little beetle can wreak such havoc on forest systems. A research scientist at the University of Washington, Dr. Susan Pritchard studies the effects of disturbances like insect outbreaks and wildfires on forests. Over the last two decades, more trees in western forests are being killed by bark beetles, and there have been more fires. But is climate change to blame? Each one of these yellow sap concentrations is an actual site where a mountain pine beetle has bored into the bark of the lodgepole pine, and then it will lay eggs, and its larvae will actually feed on the cambial tissue, the living tissue of the tree. So here, um, each one of these centers is an example of the tree trying to pitch out the beetle. The actual sap of the tree um, has resins that are toxic to the beetles, and then also they physically push the beetle out of the tree. Wow, so this tree is, is literally just fighting it for its life. It is fighting for its life. That's not an overstatement, actually. So I can tell that, unfortunately, for this particular tree, it's not winning the fight. Beetles thrive in warmer weather. Milder winters, earlier springs, and longer summers mean more beetles. So there is a climate link with mountain pine beetle, for sure. And what we're noticing in Washington State even today that in the last 20 years with warmer climate, warmer documented climate, there has been an incre increased incidence of mountain pine beetle. A resident of the quaint town of Winthrop in central Washington, Dr. Pritchard also says warmer temperatures across the western U.S. have made drought stressed trees more vulnerable to beetle attack. Now if you have a vigorous tree, it will have enough defenses to pitch out some beetles. So the beetles will attack the more weakened trees and maybe kill them. In an outbreak, there could be, you know, acres upon acres of host trees where that there would be weakened, maybe drought stressed, dense trees for these beetles to build up enough of a population that, that then they could start spreading into both weakened trees and um, healthy trees. Scientists have already made a definitive connection between warming temperatures and increased fires in the West. The connection between beetles and fires is less understood, but many scientists like Pritchard believe the combination of beetles, warming, and drying forests will predispose Washington state forests to more fire. This year, more than 800 wildfires ignited in Washington state, well above the yearly average. Pritchard says an outbreak of bark beetles starting in the 1990s left accumulations of dead trees, priming the forests for a big fire event, which is exactly what occurred in August 2006 when the so-called tripod complex fire swept through the Okanagan Wenatchee forest, destroying 180,000 acres and costing $80 million. I actually saw the initial big smoke plumes and if you were to look um, across the valley floor, you would not have been able to see even the trees. For Pritchard, large fire events have been part of the landscape for millennia, vital to the renewal of the forest. Yet she is concerned about a future with an increased frequency of hot, dry weather, beetle outbreak, and big fires. It actually resets the stage. It is a very natural cycle in this ecosystem. However, we're also facing unprecedented changes in climate. Here's an example of a Douglas fir seedling and you can see that it, you know, it's a small in stature, it's very shallowly rooted in the soil and it's vulnerable to drought. So as the topsoil dries, it might dry out and die. So if we have more high severity fire events, it might mean that trees that have existed here for hundreds if not thousands of years are not able to successfully reproduce. But since understanding the effects of disturbances on forests is her passion and work, Dr. Pritchard has no plans to leave central Washington anytime soon. I chose to live in a fire-prone landscape. I think that's an important thing for people to actually take into consideration when they want to live in the great outdoors. The great outdoors in the inland west means fire in the summers. Pritchard and other scientists say climate change is, at the very least, partly responsible.